Ready? Yeah. Hi, I'm Irina, and we're here to eat Korean barbecue. So here we got the menu. Usually a lot of Korean barbecue places, like this one, they have sets. So I like to eat a combination of pork, it's called samgyeopsal, and beef short rib, which they have a special here that's a marinated sogalbi. Kalbi is beef short rib. In terms of ordering off the menu, if you're here for Korean barbecue, you really want to focus on the meat and not order too much other stuff. Also, with your meal, they'll bring out a lot of different panchan, which is vegetable and pickled side dishes. So there'll be plenty of food. These are mung bean sprouts. These are pickles. This is gakdugi, which is a Korean pickled radish. You can eat as much as you want and then ask for more. Yum. Korean barbecue is a good place for you to come with your friends or your family and have a good time. So drinking is in this case soju, which is a Korean rice alcohol. It's kind of like a vodka, but very, very low in alcohol percentage, similar to wine. Cheers, Cheers. or in Korean, kombe. Cheers, kombe. So when you come to Korean barbecue, you're obviously going to be hit by the smell of meat and smoke. So I like to wear a ratty t-shirt, and then at this point, I'm gonna put my hair up. <laughs> this is a beef short rib. It's marinated in soy sauce and other secret ingredients. My favorite thing about Korean barbecue is that it cooks so quickly, so the meat is super juicy. Take one of these red leaf lettuce. You can use the whole leaf. I like to cut it in half. You wanna take one of the meats, take a little scoop of this soybean sauce, which has a lot of awesome umami flavor, and maybe a little dip of this anchovy sauce too. Whatever sauces they give you, you can try all of them. And then you want to wrap it like a, a meat taco and then stuff it in your mouth. Yeah! The grill is hottest in the middle, so I'm going to want to move them over to the side or move them on top of the vegetables so they don't cook as much. Each serving of meat is technically for one person. When you come with the group, you want to order about a portion to three portions less. So say if you come with six people, you can order three to five portions. If you come with four people, maybe two or three, it just depends on how much, you, how much meat you can eat. So this is unmarinated pork belly, so that means you can sort of sauce it up more. Uh, here we have salt and pepper with sesame oil, and I'm gonna put a little bit of this kimchi on. Kimchi and pork goes really well together for me. Okay, I'm gonna go first, and as soon as I put it in my mouth, then you put it in your mouth, right? Yeah. Okay. This is chador begi, which is unmarinated, thinly sliced beef brisket. So especially with the thin stuff, you wanna make sure you unfold them. So you get a good cook on all sides. And then flip them so they cook so quickly. That's how you know a place is good when it has good marbling on the meat. I like to do just a little bit of salt. And it's really fatty, so I don't put the sesame oil on. And then a little bit of bean paste. A little bit of scallion to cut through it. This is a cool glass. It shows you how much, like, oh what the alcohol percentage is, of how, depending on how much you drink. It's amazing. Okay, it's gonna get messy. Ready? You ready, Jess? Yeah. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay. Oh! Oh! I think we all lose. <laughs> <laughs> this is naengmyeon, which is uh, cold noodles and beef broth. Uh, and over here we have a spicy version of it that's brothless. Uh, basically, naengmyeon is a really popular dish uh, for Koreans, especially in the summer, and it goes perfectly with Korean barbecue. After you eat a lot of meat, you need something to help you digest and settle your stomach, and cold noodles, weirdly, it works. So after Korean barbecue, you're super full, but you want to drink more. So we got to go to karaoke. I'll make love to you like you want me to. Hey guys, I'm Nell Casey, the food editor at Gothamist. Thank you so much for watching. Click to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more delectable videos, and let us know in the comments where in New York City you'd like to see us film next. I'll catch you all on the flip side.